find it in your shoe, you're getting a whip. Uh oh. <laughs> And this is Caviar Grits, and you can see he's standing here today because he mature, mature enough to eat his, his uh, spinach. But the others, they threw it at the babysitter, and now we got to pay it overtime. Can you believe it? How immature of it. And Mike refused to go to sleep. And she messed the lady's hair up. Well, enough talk about them. We'll give them a whoop when we get home. Okay. Okay. This is what all the moment y'all all been waiting for. It's the cornmeal. It's the brownie. It's the vinyl pack. This is the Trace and Mother show. It's the Dusty Old Bag. Okay, who the first we put by the back? Any, me, anybody, more, catch the toe, buy a toe. Any, we'll let the lady go first. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's that? Okay. Um, drop out. Drop out. Yeah, drop out. <laughs> well, I want to, I want to, what makes a child want to drop out of school? What's wrong with them? They probably just think school's a dump. You ain't gonna be a dump, that age here gonna be a dump. 250, 250 a month. That's a dump, if anything is a dump. Getting paid at age here, you can't hardly pay your bills. Can you believe it? Nah, no, just getting thrown out of your house, man. That's a dump. Now, they got an opportunity to learn to expand them little weak things, them little scrubs for mine. They got they got chance to expand it. But yet they wanna turn it into a a a a, a a frozen pea, the meat float. They mm -hmm. want to change the brain to a frozen pea. Why they get the opportunity to learn? Well, you know folks who dropped out, what did they say, the people you know who dropped out of school? They was thinking about one thing only. Which was? Can't tell you don't gamble. Okay, they were thinking of sexual intercourse. And they dropped out of school to get sexual intercourse? They could have got that when they were 35. They, or some they, of them dropped so. out just because they have a baby they think and, oh yeah and they think and they really think that's cool to drop out of school some I people think. drop out because their friends tell them that's a nice thing to do they influenced them right, so some somebody should have influenced them when they was uh younger and then they want me to be telling other people how to drop out so they you're saying some of them have have friends who are like bad influences and and tell them that it's cool to drop out yeah, yeah. yeah. just them the kind them the kind with the mohawks and uh, <coughs> and, uh, and, uh, uh in a motorcycle. Yeah, just like they just want to have a role model like them. Really? And mm -hmm. then they they just take them for their role model. And they well, get them off these heavy rocks. Suppose rock. you have a friend like that who's sort of a bad influence and he hangs around other people who are bad influences and he's trying to talk one of you into dropping out. I mean, how do you deal with that? How do you overcome that kind of peer group pressure? For one, I ain't like that. And you will never catch me. You will never catch me with a bad influence. That's I, one thing. You will never catch me doing it though. I sock him in his ass. <laughs> I want to see one. Yeah, it's come to me. Do the same thing. I just have to tell him to get out of my face because I'm not going to drop out because he dropped out. I have to oh, get an education here. I mean, yeah, they have to right. drop kids. So cool about yeah. other school. What's, what's cool about out of school? Are you going to see? Are you going to see? I love, uh, I love Jeannie and uh, Be Witch. And then uh, 50 movie, 50 more in the movie. That's all you're going to see while you can be in school learning a new math problem. I wonder what they see in the role models. I wonder what they see. Do they shave? They got a little beard right here and they shave. They think they, since they going to drop out, they think they could, um, you know, do a lot of things. And all that well, while they out of school. Yeah, but they, they ain't going to work they out of school. Not why they dropped out. And some of them, they might, uh, Really drop out of school. Now, one thing, I, let's don't get too harsh on because let me give you another brief point. You think all the bad. Some people might have dropped out of school because maybe their mother was sick and their father was sick and they had to watch the children and they couldn't get that diploma because they were thinking about the other children and they may have to drop out of school for that reason. Yeah. You got to you gotta uh, view all points. How about Sometimes when, they when, it, when it's the teachers who aren't inspiring the kids and they, they keep k telling the, yeah. the kids that they're doing bad and their failures and their mess ups and that kind of and thing. And they'll make them think they, they do it bad and they'll make them want to just quit. The teachers say, the teachers say so like this, 
uh, you you uh, you need to do bad. I know you could do bad, and some tells me that you could do bad if you just stop playing and do your work. You do bad. Yeah. And maybe they put uh, they won't put a bad influence on them. They think, yeah, I could do bad. Some teachers, I some can. teachers, some teachers will tell me the child need to do something better. Y'all dumb enough to do this, and y'all failing, y'all F is in there. I think some kids, kids, will kids, will, kids will drop out because of that. Some how, kids won't, some it's kids will pressure. How can you deal with that? Because, you know, after school, you're going to run into people in your life, in your family, in your workplace who are the same way, who are going to downgrade you, tell you that you mess up, that you keep, you know, doing wrong things, that you're, you're never going to be nothing in life. And so sooner or later you're going to have to deal with that anyway. So how do you deal with it like in school? You basically ignore them. You got to ignore them uh, foolish ones. The foolish ones, basically, the ones who uh, encourage you because they are, uh, because they want they want to bring you down with you. They don't want to be down there alone. For example, <laughs> okay, if I was in mud, I, my clothes was messed up. I mean, I had a brand new shop blaze on and I fall in the mud. And everybody else looking good. You know what I'm going to do then? I'm going to trip y'all in the mud. That's the nah, same thing they do. Uh, you should just go home and change your clothes. Because but that's people don't think like that. Well, we're not talking do. about that. We're talking <laughs> about that. We're basically talking about dropouts. But they want, they want to see somebody mother just like them. Some teachers, they just expect too much. What about people who drop back in? Do you know anybody who was a dropout who dropped back in? And if so, why did they do it? I know a couple of people who did that. They did because they knew that they, they would have a way to, um, they would have, they couldn't do anything. And they knew that that was, by standing school was the only reason to, um, to um, get a degree and get a job. Throw it away. Throw it away. Okay. Well, maybe we should move on to the next one. But that's a good answer. You, I think you're right. Okay. 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 I don't know. Well, you, you need some of your spin, so I'll let you go. Okay. Wait, what is it? Air Jordans and other expensive shoes. What do you think about expensive shoes? People have been killing each other over $200 gym shoes. What's that about? They should the just lower the price. Lower the price. Some people can't afford just to buy $200 shoes. Um, and I some can. of the shoes, they just be plastic. And um, when you, like, when you running, and uh, you try to stop. Only thing you do is just keep on going. You be sliding, and then sometimes you be falling. Yeah, that's a casual shoes, but gym shoes they will give you a grip. See, uh, I don't see pay less shoes. They do you like that. <laughs> they have them cheap cash shoes that when you when you just trying to take one step, they have a big old dent in the front of your shoe. Man, that be looking ugly. That's why I have to go to um. What's that? What's that stuff foot called? Locker. Yeah, Foot Locker to buy my gym shoes. You know what they do? They'll, they'll, they'll buy you or uh, they'll make you buy a gym shoe for $200 and, and the uh, material only cost them uh, like 20 cent, 20 mm. cent a piece. But 20 what? cent for a little piece of that. And you know, that that's basically a rip off. And all you really is, is buying is a name, a name on a shoe. I can take that. Hey, hey, anybody else gym shoes I can see? Okay. You see these shoes right here? <laughs> I can, I, I can. You know, I, I just, uh, just spray paint these suckers and put Nike Air on it and then just throw this in some window and I end up getting $200 on it. And this material only cut, man, it cost me a penny <laughs> for a penny box for that much material. Well, tell me this, why do people going around stealing other people's shoes? Because they, 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 they can't afford, afford them, them no yeah. shoes. Well, I mean, really, that seems really pretty low. low. How low can you go oh. when you got to steal somebody's shoes? Oh, you know what they do? Basically, they got the shoes they think they're bad. Yeah. And they really don't want to steal the shoes. See, you give them a pity roll. These people want to do that. Them people, their mama will get it. Their mama got the money. You don't want to give them people a pity roll. They ain't going on. These they people got the money. I they do that child, because uh, they think they bad, and they be walking around the streets telling like, give me this, give me that. I'm bad. You, I want this. Basically, them people ain't thinking about shoes. They just don't want to, they just want to be hard-headed. I want to be hard-headed. And they, um, my cousin, she brought a pair of gym shoes and it was only one Nike sign. That cost it, um, $30, $36. She paid, she paid $36 for them for that one little Nike sign. That's all she paid for you that one little name? Nike sign. You buying a name? I could write one. I you could write a name on the back of my shoe and say, hey, these is Nikes. That's how it is. Oh, yeah, it's the same thing with shirts. Oh. 
The only thing you can do is just take off the names and stuff and uh, signs and stuff, and then they'll be about twenty dollars or something. You can make your shoes. Well, I guess I'm concerned because you know I work at a newspaper, and every week we're getting a bunch of stories coming in saying that people have been shot. Over. Stabbed over gym shoes or over a starter jacket. I mean, how do you deal with that? How do you overcome that? My mom won't let me wear it. Mom. That's, that's, uh, that's really uh, endangering. Yeah. I think she's smart. My mama yeah. don't buy style Even though the, the clothes are cool, but I mean, if, if you got to die to be cool, man, I'd be square. I'd be square. I'd be square like a crew time for the rest of my life. <laughs> I show you're right. I, I don't got style <laughs> jackets, but. Oh, let's throw this away. Yeah. All righty. Who's next? Me, me, me. You are. That's right. Okay. Uh -huh. I ripped up who's in the tub. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh, this the big one. <laughs> this was some people so, so bad to talk about. Uh, <clears throat> they paint their lips uh, purple. Okay, it's sexually transmitted diseases. I know one. I say it's the pop one. I want to you know, what really, really fascinates me, what's the male's hormones? I really want to have sexual energy. Don't they understand, uh, understand that there is out there? And so I said, why you wear a condom? This is the condom. This is a condom. This is the condom. This is the condom. What they say? I want to feel the real. Love. I want to feel it for real. You know, <laughs> and you don't know end up happening. You don't know end up going happening. They're gonna feel that age for real. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, they say, I want to be a man. I want to. I don't want to feel it. I want to be a man. And you gotta be a man to be in the hospital, got uh, purple, purple spots <laughs> on your face. I'm gonna be the boy for the rest of my life. Baby, yeah, once baby, you get it, once you right. get that disease. I'm ready for it, I'm ready for it. This don't work, and that don't work. I wanna feel a real thing. When I'm in the hospital, I don't wanna feel a real thing now. I got the AIDS. <laughs> and once you get the AIDS, you can't. You um, ain't gonna never give them away unless you. You ain't gonna never get it um, um, out. Well, because ain't you no know cure how for it. Once you get a. Um, a cold or something, you're going to die because they can't cure that. It would, it would be easy instead of dying and just chill out, homeboy. I mean, yeah, all y'all boys out there, all y'all boys out there, when, when y'all when y'all feel the need for some, you know, what? <laughs> y'all want you, you know, what I want you to do? I want you to take, you to take a, cold, a cold shower till your mama had to drag you out there and put you on top of the stove. <laughs> And I throw you to uh, to a, to a gas bill two hundred and fifty dollars a week. Men, men don't think about that. They just think about get men to them. What you done with the men? Okay, the women will be out there. Some of the women too. Hey, hey, the women I can do see. It too. I can see because the women, there's sometimes on the street, is a hooker. They be wanting that to make money. But men be buying them, and then they don't get none. They just stand there and watch them look at, them. like. Yeah, this is for this is what I want. Can't blame but they, a man for. I see, I see more. I see uh, uh, more, most uh, of Most the men. I see it. more women most out the women, there with uh, tight that. pants on, uh, so tight that uh, you could give them from the give them a, uh, give them a hernia from the legs up. That because that because I see, I see more of them than men's out there. Men's be walking out there, baby. I would love to get in your panties. <laughs> <laughs> Some yeah, women do too. Like, too. And men, them girls out there, I would love to get in your drawers too. <laughs> but it's really, it's really, it's really, a uh, really all uh, sexual act is the women, cause most of the men are uh, catching from the women. Uh uh, the men. Most men's, of the women. The women's catching from the men. No, nah, the women. The men, the, the women, the men's catching from the women, and the women's catching from the men. Just say it well, like it's that. Where's this like half and both up? No, well, they, no put on half, the they put on one half of a disease for all other, and they mix them up together, and it's AIDS. <laughs> and I know they can do it like that, though. AIDS. AIDS <laughs> is not I, the right you know, thing I really don't understand though. the people out there. Them people are always wanted. Well, okay. Up for that story. <laughs> but uh, I hope AIDS can go easier like that, too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Check boom, boom. Hey. Okay, what is it? School days. Oh yeah. Uh -oh. Mm -hmm. I think that um that most up in schools they should have like like rows of uh, uh certain foods that you want to eat, and if you um probably don't want to eat that, they just make some some of the schools they pick out what what they want you to eat, and I think that's wrong. Yeah, and some of the people they so should good. choose what they want to eat, not just shove it in front of your face and make you eat it. 
Why don't you bring your own lunch? Some of the people probably don't have enough money to buy, buy their own lunch. Some of that food well, they like us. Wait. If you hungry, you will eat the lunch. Yeah, if I was hungry. Well, I, I think they should do something about, about that menu, though. That. They, Cause the food they be chubbing, they look, they look like soybeans, <laughs> raw soybeans. Them eggs be look so sloppy, they, they, you can suck it through a straw. And I'm saying, they, they, they should give you a choice. They have food for you to eat. And then when you want the food you want to eat, they have it in there, but they don't want to cook it for you. They have it because they want, like, okay, like oh, today. Right. Mm. Wait a minute, like but, today. You want, you want pizza. They got the pizza in the freezer. But when they, when they want to cook the pizza, that's when you're going to get the pizza. Yeah, it ain't where you, like you going to get the pizza on you like, I want pizza, pizza. I don't want this. I want pizza. Mm -hmm. They ain't going to give it to you. What like kind of that. food would you I like? I disagree. I disagree. I told him just because you know why? Okay, if you if you was a principal, do you know how much is how much is how much money it takes to uh to feed all the children, all children? You got you really gotta go shopping around for food, cause it cut them children, cause it you gotta leave about uh, five hundred children or more in in the, in the school. You can't go around buying buying uh 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 Caesar pizza every day. That the, but they give you a certain amount of money, and you got, and the principal basically gotta uh. Balance their money. They just can't go out and spend. I ain't saying they the have money to don't have even a come pizza from the every day. Why they have but they give them so much money. But just something that looks good and tastes good. Yeah, as long as something that they like instead of what the lunch So tell me this. Like, if the food was better in lunchrooms, would you stay in school more? You think yeah. that would make you want to come to school more? No, but no they, they don't. Yeah. They really, I know a boy really don't matter. that come to school every day for just, lunch and go to sleep when he come from lunch. <laughs> now that's one thing I do not like to come to school for. I come to school for Good. education so I could grow up, be a man, get a job, and have my own thing. You don't have to get none of the other body, other be other people things. Yeah, you just you like bumming on a quarter uh, for a quarter on the buy, street. Buy you a bottle of uh, night train. I mean, and up this that boy. Pitties. I mean, this boy pitties have money pitties. every day. Well, night gym shoes. A star coat, everything. His mom be buying him everything. But then he comes to school for one thing, to eat and go to sleep. I wanna know why he comes to school to eat and go to school. He and his mom be coming up money. there. Don't and guess what he have on his poor card? Okay. Straight A's and D. Now that's one thing I don't I don't, I don't What know. do they grab him by? The how many Z's he got a producer out with? Uh huh. Cause he don't do nothing but sit there, talk, eat and go to sleep. <laughs> okay. okay. There's that one. Too bad. Okay, who funny is it? Navi. Navi. Oh, gee, gotta take a turn. Okay. Uh, this is an old dusty thing today, is it? My favorite one. Sports. Oh, oh man, I think the Cubs playing is nice. Yeah. <laughs> I think the Bulls are playing. The yeah, way they get in that the uh, playoff, they just yep. going straight through mm -hmm. everybody. Jordan got knocked down twice, but he got back up and finished playing them games. They said they want to they want to trash Jordan, man. They said they want to do Jordan in for the most, man. Yep, they yeah, say they just Jordan trash because Jordan, Jordan, Jordan just because um, Charles Barkley he be getting trash up when they was playing in the playoffs. Every time he go up for a dunk, they'll just knock him down or elbow him in the face. No, Yo, did they call foul? No, they ain't call foul. The referees this didn't one call foul. This this was I know <laughs> I know two of them he knocked down. He was up in the air, and he had the whole opening by himself. But when he went up in the air, some other dude came around, hit him in his face, and then smacked the ball out of his hand. Jordan fell dead on his face. I don't know why they didn't call that a foul or an out or something, what they want to call it. I believe people, people they just say want to say Jordan did. I think they doing that because the man black, and the man's going someplace. It was a black man hit him. So <laughs> sure was. A black man hit him. Whoa. They just want to ba basically trash that man for his skills. Or they probably just want to they make just want, money. They just want him out of the game. So they, they could, think he played back. So they could be that. the best, best yeah. team besides the uh, Bulls. That's like Scott Detroit. Detroit. Like Detroit. The, uh, Detroit, they, they could play. They play good. But yeah, since they what they been got fight. trashed, then they start losing. And now they coming back. There it is. Scott, then like Scott Peters, he's supposed to get off the team. He's still on the team, though. 
George is supposed to be off the team. He's still on the team. Mm -hmm. That's two people supposed to be off the team, but they got him back on the team, though, because they must be the only people that's playing in. Well, that's the end of that one. Ooh. And that was your best. Okay. Mm -hmm. I ain't my turn. Oh, it's Donnell's turn. No, See, it's, it's Lorraine's turn. turn. What is it? Car crash. Accident. Ooh. It'd be about a thousand car crashes a day. Well, <laughs> I know one person that got a car crash. Oh. I'm not going to say the name. But he uh -huh. got a car crash. Oh, well, luckily the man was an injured, or him or she was an injured. Oh, you know one thing I think should be done about the people should mostly uh, be uh, careful with their drive, because most people blame it on the car company. And, you, and, the, and the car you're driving itself is them idiots behind the wheel. Some people be drunk when they get a car crash. Yeah, Some they be breaking be the law, drunk driving. Some people be sleep when they get a car crash. Some people on drugs in the cars. Yeah. And some people don't wear their seat belts. What do you think about seat belts? Seat belts is, that's why yeah, they put seat belts like, in the like car. Yeah, so they in can the wear them, they can have them on, and when they get a car crash, they won't have to, you know, fall. Yeah, that's literally the protection. Like, like if the car turns Like the new cars they got out with the uh, bag in. The airbags. Yeah, the airbags yeah. 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 that yeah. hold you back. It's so on, on TV, it show that the airbags say this lady life. But sometimes the airbags don't um come out. When that's it, um, right. That's why you gotta back it up with the seat belt, even if you got an airbag. You have to yeah, have, like if the car turns off. You have to have your seat belt on, just in case. Like you could be in a cab drive, and a cab do like this, and you let go of the wheel. Somehow you get a car crash. You'll be safe because you'll have the seat belt on. Yeah, if the car turned over, you'd just be sitting up there. No. And the only thing you have to do is just take it off easily, bring your feet down, then you won't be hurt. And like some people, yeah, car crashes, uh, car crashes is basically the idiot behind the wheel. <laughs> the person, you you know you out there who all you think about getting to work and y'all be doing, y'all be going 90 miles an hour. Well, let's say about 50 miles in the 40, uh, 40, uh, uh, well, 40 uh, uh, miles per hour zone. It's really, most of them blame it on the car company. You know what they're doing? Once they have a car crash, they'll, they'll sue. They'll sue the person. They'll sue. They try to sue everybody except they sell. But what and if the um, driver have an uh, asthma attack? Then it won't be his fault. Well, he should be driving. He right. should be driving. Well, he got and a hot day. And a hot day, he really he really don't supposed to be driving. He but got he, to think about his own should. personal safety. He should but have what have if his he asthma spray medicine? But what if he's taking his own uh, wife or his sister to the hospital because she's having a baby? But still, he don't. He, he know he could come down with stuff. He know it come down with a heart attack, something like that. He don't supposed to be driving. He don't supposed to be driving fast. If he got a, if he got ass, he's supposed to like one of his oldest daughters or something to drive. Some people, some people, uh, they just think about time, but they should be really be thinking about his life. How many lives can I say about going? Well, just this slow. How about people who drink and drive or who take drugs and drive? I mean, wouldn't well, you be afraid to get in a car with somebody you can tell is loaded? You know what happens? You they be killing themselves. They, they be killing themselves and they want to take somebody down with them. And they don't understand uh, how many people losing their arms or legs or a whole middle structure all because, all because you, you so high you don't know what's up and down and you can't hardly see the world. One man got his arms off, both of them. But he's driving, he still driving with his feet, though. <laughs> now, that's trying to be a dim to all these people, because some idiot is driving behind the wheel who don't even know where he's going. And he's so high off a night train that he thinks, that he thinks, uh, he's in a, uh, in the 500. And you know what he is? He's a cop. And he's still driving with his feet. He take his shoe off in a car and just drive with his feet. And police, they be running red lights like it ain't nothing. They got, it could have been a... Yeah, they it caused been, a lot of accidents, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah they could be... It was a man, he probably... The police probably wasn't looking. He was just going past the red light. Somebody just drive. Mm, they see no police. Mm, the car go... Ah, and then it's going to go like that. And then... But the car going to go, get damaged. And then the police... It ain't like the police go get, get it um, that much trouble as the other drive is. See, they'll believe the police, they won't believe the other suspects. Yeah, that's true. They uphold the law, but they police respect the law as well. We got time okay. for one more? Oh, oh yeah, bye-bye. What is it? Uh, 
Summer vacation. Yeah, Summer I would love vacation. to go on where, one this one. Where are you going? I think I'm going to go on a trip. Mm. Yeah, me I too. Know, I, I know, know I'll go. I, um, huh? I, I know where I'm going to go. My okay. granddad. Yeah, I want to go to my grandfather's house. Spend where does he live? He live in the city, but it's nice out there. He got swimming pool, every, got everything. Where are you going to go for hey, summer vacation? I'm going to be walking for the summer vacation. Oh, you're right. And just chill out with my mom, my father. And I want to go with my grandfather and came down here so when I get, when we get out of school, when me and my brother and cousin will get out of school, he's going to take us back and have the Arkansas the, uh, for our summer vacation, our whole summer vacation. How about you? Mm -hmm. Well, I want to go to someplace hot and cool. I would like, like to go to Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah, I think. I think when you think about summer vacation, you think you uh, you picture a warm beach where uh, where uh, where people surfing and the sun and down water. on you. And then you think of school, you think you think of a you think of an old woman with some glasses with some tinny eyeballs with a stick that's doing like this oh, and no. got all the math problems on the board. That's what you think about when you think of school. Now let's see, last summer I went to a place called Zambia in Zimbabwe in southern Africa and it was real warm. I went on safari with all those animals and also went to a lot of museums yeah, and, and some clubs and stuff where I was doing the running man and the Humpty Hump. Oh, it was great. Running man and the Humpty Hump. Oh, yeah, I mean, because they, they had the same records and stuff that, that's here, and, and, but it was Africa. It just made me feel more at home there than in Chicago where there's so much racism. So I think this summer I'm going to go to another place called Mozambique, which is near that whole region in southern Africa, and, and I think I'll have even more fun. Right now, there's a little war going on there, but hopefully, you know, that'll calm down by the time I leave. So, let's pray. I think I can. I think I should go with you. You playing with the bag? Yep. Hey, what's going on? Now, did you eat your spinach? Did you eat your spinach? I don't think he had his spinach. Wait a minute. Did he? You had your spinach. He's been faking the funk. He didn't eat his spinach. You had your spinach. If you don't get out here now, I'm going to get you. You had your spinach. Go, 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 go. Go. Go to your room. room. Wow. Go to yeah, your we room. gonna spin. You just be quiet back. there for you go too. I had my spinach. I know, but you just be quiet there. You I ain't running out all. here. <laughs> well, go to your room since you didn't eat it all. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Next time I'll go to my room. Okay, we'll let all you right. stay well, for a little while. I'm sorry, but we must end the show. Hopefully you might eat your spinach this time. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we don't uh, know. And everybody eat their spinach so they can be mature like Stan, eat their spinach. And, we, and next time, we better not have to pay that babysitter all the time when we're going to babysit you ourselves. <laughs> hey. Yeah, well.